um, ETT. I have studied the Bible somewhat. I was raised on the Bible. Um, I'm I'm probably agnostic, as in you have a belief in a creator. I can't say it's a default belief, but it's definitely uh, a learnt belief and one that I still have. Um, but to, to put my money on exactly who it is, exactly which doctrine it is, I, I'm I'm not I'm unsure of. So for that reason, I, I'd say I'm ab agnostic. You want me to help you figure it out? Um, to be honest, I don't mind conversation, but when it comes to figuring it out, it's definitely going to have to be a solo job. Wouldn't you agree? Well, have you ever done a, a process of elimination to figure out what you don't support? Kind of narrow it down a little bit? Um, so no, if, if, no. if we can start at the top, do you believe the Bible? That's the most popular uh, uh, religion. Do you believe in Christianity? Do I believe the Bible? I've read the Bible. Do I know everything in the Bible to be true? No. How I mean, do, do I you know, believe that Jesus do I know, is God? Do I know things in the Bible to be true? Yes. Do I believe Jesus is God? I don't know. Is he God? Is he the son of God? Is he just a prophet? Did he exist? All these, all these um, questions are viable in my mind, and I don't have the answer to all of them. Or to any of them, to be honest, there's no definitive proof either way. So, I'm have you open. ever seen the Shroud of Turin? I have. I don't believe that to be um, genuine. I believe that to be a fake. It is genuine. Yes. I don't believe it to be genuine. I mean, they've proven that it's real blood and that it came from that era. Yes. No, no, no. It was. It's been proven to be a hoax, actually. No, I mean, it's not. Like yeah, it has. I'm telling you that it's real, and like you say, it's a hoax. Okay, then. All right. So anyway, so so we even know the if, shroud of Turin. Sorry to interrupt you. Even if the tu shroud of Turin is real, what does it prove? It just proves that, uh, well, basically, Jesus was a real man that he existed. How do don't I see how you can prove that based on a bloody cloth. Because <laughs> the cloth was found in the tomb. Yes. yes. Said who? who said it was found in the tomb? The person who found it. And it was just left there for all that time. If I found a blanket in my room and I say, hey, I found this blanket, are you going to question me? Of course. You know how many Turkish women produce bloody cloths on their wedding night? Oh, God. <laughs> no, this was in the shape of a man, though, this bloody cloth. Uh, are, you, are you talking about that cloth they found where there's like a face imprint on it? Is that you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, but I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say I can believe that. TV, you know, I know what you're talking about. Fighters don't go like that, do they? Because realistically speaking, right? As we said, as I said, I, I'm a believer myself, but but let's be realistic real quick. It's like, what are the odds that it would be Christ's face on that compared to the you know hundreds of thousands of people around back then? I mean, like, like that would be statistically very unlikely. Wouldn't you agree? Exactly. And what Christian worthy salt would base his belief on an artifact? Well, that's not, I mean, I base my belief on faith. I'm just saying I'm offering evidence. Oh, there, there's, a, there's a whole lot of evidence that a lot of the stories. Yeah, but, are you do realize the oldest description of Jesus it's looks Jesus. nothing what you believe you don't. So, so what somebody say? So the oldest inscription that we've got of Jesus, the oldest, you know, doesn't look like someone with long hair and a long beard. I mean, well, we we see in the Bible it gives a, a, a description of what Christ looks like. If you read what is that scripture, uh, Revelation chapter one, starting at verse thirteen down to like sixteen, it tells us what he looks like. It says he his um his head and his hair was white like wool, and he, his feet were like burned brass. So I would take that to say. That Christ was a dark-skinned man, and he had 
um, white like hair, according to that scripture. So that's where we see a de depiction of what Christ looks like in the Bible, in the New Testament. Well, let's just leave that there for now. So moving on. So this one's Bible, right? <laughs> Shut up, Beagle. Uh, sorry, my Beagle was barking. Uh, so what about Islam? Do you believe that? Can we rule Islam out? Can I draw a strike through Islam? No. no. What? Why not? Like, what? if you don't believe, you have to believe the Bible before you can believe Islam. Plus, that's... Plus no. the Quran so no, is after a, the Bible. Are you doing a tour of world religions and, like, going through them one by one? No, I'm helping... Uh, I'm helping Trill... To go with my brother... What's Christianity got anything to do with Islam? I'm helping him to, by process of elimination, find a, a better direction to bend his faith. Explore I, I the journey. I wouldn't try to convince you of Islam by disproving Christianity. I don't. I don't. I don't think. No, that's no. A, I'm just saying. Let's see. Do you believe anything about Islam? Any? Yes, yes, yes. I'm a Muslim. I'm Muslim oh, yeah. why though? Why? Yeah, why? asking me what, why I believe what I believe. <laughs> yeah, it's a belief, wait, isn't it? There's no wait, why for. Wait, I don't, I don't who, think you have to justify here? what you believe. You but believe then people you just believe. asked me to justify yeah. it, and I said, "No, no I, I'm not asking you. No, no, this yeah, is yeah, what, what Christians do. This is what Christians do. You got no one asked you to justify your belief, bro. I'm just saying, why would you base it on a piece of cloth? Yo, yo, yo." I'm driving you right just now. just got caught. My, my, my bro, are you feeling well? Are you feeling all right? You just got caught. Down. You asked me to I, explain I, the Shroud of Turin. All right, calm down, you guys. Asked calm me down. To explain what I believe. And now I've you not just asked got you, caught. I've not asked you to tell me why you believe in Christ. Yeah, you could believe in Christ. But why would you base your belief on a cloth or an artifact? I'm just... Dude, like, he, I just asked you why you believe Islam. You're like, because it's my it's belief. It's a belief. Uh -huh. What do you mean, why? Wait, wait, wait. It's a belief. What do you mean, why? It's a belief. There's no why it's to it. It's a belief of the clock. What do you mean, why, There's no bro? There's no why to it, bro. There's yo, no why. Yo, if so I could believe, just interrupt for just a second. Nah, a belief is a belief. There's no, exactly. there's no why no. to it. Huh? Why exactly. do you choose above all others? There must be psych about Islam that's different. That's what he's asking you. Wait, wait. No, it's exactly I'm a little bit confused. I believe in it. Somebody clear this up for me real quick. I'm just a little confused. I don't think. Whoever said that. Why do you believe the earth is round and you don't believe oh. it's flat? Why do you believe oh, that? Hold on, gone. Yeah, but then she'll give you reasons. It's the thing. It's like they're, they're just asking you for reasons why you believe what I'm, you believe. I'm just saying, I, I personally. I, I, I'm of the position that your belief isn't something that you can no. reason. You can, it's not obviously. reason, it's it's a belief. I thought was the one, one second, that would make it blind. You don't want to just be believing blindly. You want to believe for a reason. You want to have reasons to back to, to that you've come to that belief. You don't just believe things for no reason. You have reasons to believe. That's how it works. Even if you don't have facts, you have reasons. Wait, just so just so I know, because I'm a little confused here. Just just real quick, is the Muslim the one that has the sneakers as his icon? And you'll see why. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just let me ask this real quick, because I, I spoke to uh, a panel of Muslims before. And now I'm a little confused because they were telling me that in Islam they do, in some ways, believe in Christ. So I must ask you. Does that mean that you also believe in Christ? And if you do, why are you criticizing him about believing in Christ? If you believe in see, Christ, see, this is this is this is the reason why I'm refusing to answer your first question about why do you believe what you believe? Because it's a deviation from the original point of why would you base your belief on a artifact? That's someone now, else. As a Christian, as a Christian, that was yes, that was else. It's not me. It was the nemesis. You're talking to ETT now. I understand that. I'm saying, I, like, he's basically. Um, he didn't ask that question about. No, why but he's he... asking me, why? Why would I ask him why he believes yeah. in Christ? But yeah. I haven't asked him that. If he tells me he believes in Christ, I'm taking that face value. I've not asked him why he believes in Christ. Right. I'm just I'm saying, why would anyone base their belief on 
on the artifact. That's what my point was. But, but he said, I'm not asking anyone to justify whether they believe said, in Christ or whether now. the belief... Hold on, hold on. Or whether the belief in Christ contradicts but, Islam. I haven't but, asked that question. But if you would have listened, he would have... I haven't you asked you. Heard, you. You would have heard him say that he's not, he's not just on an artifact. I mean, he literally said that, right? I mean... He said he's going to prove Christianity. He... Carl, I'm not feeling well, man. Listen... <laughs> I don't know if you follow what people say or the words that come out of people's mouths, but he said he was going to prove Christianity, and when he was given the opportunity, he gave the Turin Shroud as his evidence. Uh, and he okay, even but, referred but, to it as no, evidence. No, 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 so I'm just saying that. He, he said, uh, okay, but hold on a second. Do you remember he said, I'm, I, I, I believe in Christ based on faith, but he just brought that up as like a side. No, he note. said that when he, he was, was pressed. That, right? When he was pressed, that's what he said. His original gambit, his original first out, out of the blocks was, I'm going to prove Christianity. And we were like, go on then. And he was like, have you heard of the Turin Shroud? Just real quick, you didn't answer my question, though. I asked you. You, yeah, answered, you haven't managed to answer my question. I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll, you answer mine and then I'll answer yours. That's very fair. I simply asked you, you as a Muslim, because I've talked to other Muslims, and they tell me they do believe in Christ. I was asking you. Do you, as a Muslim, do you believe in Christ? Do you reject Christ? Yeah, when Muslims tell you they believe in Christ, they're lying to you. They're, they're lying, lying to me. I mean, that this yeah, was a very Muslims do not believe. Muslims do not believe in Christ as a person. Oh, Muslims lie. Uh, can I not answer? Muslims yeah, you, you, can, you can answer, but yeah, just Christ, as, as, people, as you know, Christ I'm talking about are like Christ a that you know, has three hundred thousand subscribers. Yo, 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 let, let, let Calm finish saying what you're saying. You ask him a question, please. Calm, finish. Yeah, when you refer to Christ, the Christ that you know, Muslims don't believe in that person. They don't believe in somebody who was prophesied that will come, that would be God amongst us. Whether it's God in physical, spiritual, or any type of form, Muslims do not believe in that. They believe in a different Christ who is just a normal prophet. Just a normal person. But it's still the same person, though, right? It's not the same person. If I was a, a ghost walking in a human body, or if I was the son of God, would I be the same person I am now? Perhaps not. But 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 let me understand this. Oh, and just by the way, the Muslim channel I was talking about, it's a channel, a very popular one, that has 300,000 subscribers. So I'm not talking about just a random Muslim I saw on the street. These are scholars over there for the Muslim faith. Now, just to clarify this, right? So you're saying you do believe in the Christ, but apparently it's not the same one in Christianity. So what other form of Christianity is there that you hold? I don't know at what point you discern the fact that I'm saying I believe in the Christian version of Christ. I've not said that. Well, I mean, when you say you believe in Christ, I would imagine you're talking about the one found in the Bible, right? I'm sorry, you asked me if I believed in Christ because Muslims said that. I not once said that I believed in Christ. I just said to you that the, the Muslims are referring to a different... All right, one second, one second. Let me get involved now. Um, when we say believe in Christ, what do we mean? Let's go to ETT first. When you, when you ask a Muslim if he believes in Christ, what do you mean? Okay, well, to, to put it in simple terms, when I ask him, like, like if I was to go up to you and ask you, do you believe that Christ walked the earth and that he was actually the son of God, or do you believe he pause. didn't exist at all? Pause, pause. So is believing in Christ, in your question, is uh, does that contain uh, believing he was God or the son of God? We'll say the son of God, because I don't believe Christ right, cool. is God. So then, so then what you, that in a more honest form, you're both right, but in a, both, in a more honest form, what you say is, do you believe Christ, Jesus, was the son of God? Or do you believe Christ was God? And Muslims should say no. Okay, but but they still believe in the same character that we read about in the Bible. Yeah, that's different. That's different because they believe because they believe in Isa, and Isa was not the son of God, and he was not. Wait, wait, uh, you, you said you said Esau, or did I hear you wrong? Isa, Isa. Yeah, Esau. It's, like, it's a different like, version. Like it's like a. It's just a different version. Not it's Esau. like, you know, growing up, you used to play Pokemon Blue. Well, I believe in Pokemon Blue, and he believes in Pokemon Red. Jesus Red, uh, Jesus Blue. So I believe Jesus is God. 
was God, is the living God. He believes that it was just some man walking the earth that was crucified, like many others of his kind. They don't believe he was crucified. The Muslims don't? No, no they don't. Oh, well, that's just... That's just well, crazy. Believe, then. Believe, I mean, believe, it's crazy. They believe, like, they then, believe, then, you, then they, they don't listen, believe in the listen, Bible. Listen, they believe that um, God allowed it to look like he got crucified so that he could escape. So it was an illusion. It was an illusion. Yeah, they, they, they believe that um, uh, someone was put in his place. But where do we read about that at? In the, in the Quran. In the Quran, so so let me understand this because the Muslims I talk to, they say we do believe in certain parts of the Bible. Do you, do you have a different view? Do you totally reject the Bible, or you believe certain parts? Are you gonna ask the Muslim now? Because I'm I'm not a Muslim. Well, yeah, obviously I'm talking to the Muslim. That that that's yeah. who I'm having the conversation with. Right? Yeah, yeah. Khan, you might as well learn his name. His name is Khan. Khan. So what was the question? I'm in a bad spot. You gotta break it down. What's the question? All right, all right, the question is this. Based on the other Muslims I talked to, they were saying, yes, we believe in certain parts of Christ's teachings in the Bible. We reject others. I was asking you, as a Muslim, do you accept certain parts of the teachings of Christ in the Bible, or you reject that and just go by the Quran? Yeah, um, ultimately, the, the Quran the is the criteria above any teaching. So first and foremost... When it comes to any prophet, we go by the Quran first, right? But when you say, do we believe in the teachings of Christ? We believe that all the prophets came with the same teaching of the oneness of God. That's what we believe that. So, yeah, there are parts of Christ's teachings that we would uh, believe. But it wouldn't be anything to do with ascension or um, trinity or anything that you would, you would um, deem the teachings of Christ. Well, well, I, I don't believe in the Trinity, so that's a uh, you you miss. All right, as Christians in general, then Christians in general, when you refer to the teachings of Christ, you don't mean what we mean, because we mean that Christ taught the oneness of God, and we believe what, that all the prophets taught that. What do you mean by oneness? Oneness is in that there is only one God. You don't pray to any angels or saints or devils or demons it's just god that you pray to well, well where in the bible does it say to pray to anybody else other than the most high god but it was a practice wasn't it it was a practice amongst people going people back to, to you know previous times even the, well, the what, 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 do you, what do you mean that people were praying to, to other gods or other people what do you mean that yeah. bow, that bow and yeah. stuff. so when, so when so in, um, that, but that's not a teaching in the bible when you look at the bible when you look at the bible like the original bible not the translated bible yeah, there's so, lots of different names for god right baal is one of them right there's lots of different names elohim is one of them yahweh is one of them jehovah's one of them. they've got so many different names now whether these were all the same god is questionable but what we do know as a fact is is what moses said which is here oh israel your god is one so that means all these different gods that you lot are practicing separately just bring them all into one god and just be one people one nation under one law one god forget the past and as he brought out the multitudes out of um out of uh, egypt that was his job to do that to bring everyone together under a set of commandments, right? So we believe that all the prophets did that. All of them adhered to that oneness of God. So where does Christ teach differently, though? That like I don't see where you get that, where you get that from. Because based on my understanding, Christ himself really didn't teach that, but the, the church fathers that basically dictate Christianity over Wait, a couple hundred years he didn't arrived at the conclusion that there was a Trinity. That's the conclusion that they arrived at over a hundred, a couple of hundred years of meditating on uh, what they had in their hands, what evidence they had. Okay, but but you can't prove it that Christ told the Trinity. So I'm struggling. No, I'm not saying too. I'm not saying that Christianity is derived directly from the teachings of Christ. I'm saying that the Church Fathers also had something to do with right, it. Right, but I can prove it. But just. Uh, Right, right. I, I was just about to point that out. I was like, well, wait, how the hell do you know, you living in the 21st century, how do you know what they were teaching 2,000 years ago? Like, like you have a time as a machine to go back? or like? I mean, I mean, think about Let's just think about it logically. I mean, why? I mean, how can we even be talking about a 2,000-year-old book to begin with? Obviously, it's going to be something <laughs> special. 
There's not a two thousand year old book. It's got to be something special, something <laughs> unique, right? If we're talking about it two thousand years later, it's got to yeah, be pretty, pretty darn important. <laughs> I mean, there's like what else is talked about as much as the Bible? You know that that's all. It's a tradition, and you guys know what a tradition is. It's a proven way of mythology of thinking. And it's what the Western civilization was built on. And no other age before it has been as great as God bless America. Well, that's a big fucking comment. Right. Oh, yeah, because back, well, okay, what age is better? We have cars and airplanes here. Including our time and everything else came from the Mesopotamia. Uh, you're living in the best time period. There's a good chance you would you wouldn't even even live back then because no, no, no. infection, and disease, all kinds of stuff. So you better thank God that you're alive in this I period don't. because statistically you would be dead in another period. So you better thank God every day for your life. Nonsense. So there's a good amount of proof to suggest that in in ancient times. They had a way of curing through operation, but also through through um, harmonies and frequencies. Yeah, that's BS. Just, uh, uh, what are you talking about? Harmon? What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about that they say that there is certain resonances that can actually heal. The body. Yeah, I, I, well, like I said, I mean, it, I mean, do I believe that there's certain rhythms that influence people? Yes, that could be more psychedelic than others, of course. Dogs can hear it. I mean, we can hear it if demons want us to, I suppose. If you tune yourself yeah, into you demons, you can hear them. Again. But what I'm trying to help Trill do is trying to point him in the right direction because the devil has laid traps for him trying to distract him from the path. Like Islam is trapped by the devil. Uh, Judaism, in my opinion. I mean, Judaism is still on the right track because you still believe in the Old Testament. You're just like right there. You need to believe in the New Testament. Wait, wait, can, can, I, can I ask you on that? Who, what, what's your name, brother? What, what's your name? 